we're going to fry some fish, some Pacific cod we have here. Depending on how big the fish is, usually cod's pretty big, so you're going to probably put it in thirds, cut it in thirds. I'm going to use some Lay's potato chips. I've never used this as a breading for fish until now. So this is a first for all of us. I got some uh, new seasoning in, the Everglades. I got four different types of Everglades. Um, this is the fish and chicken. Never tried it before. I see it all over YouTube. Never tried it. So we're going to try it. So all I did here is I just uh, sprinkled it over the top. You can adjust accordingly if you want more. I like a lot of seasoning. So uh, we're going to typical fish sequence here. You got your flour, your egg wash. I take two eggs, put a tablespoon of water in it, mix it up real good. So what I'm going to do here, take our fish, put it in the flour, before I get too far ahead of myself. I'm taking these Lay's potato chips and crushed them up pretty good here. Meanwhile, we've got our oil going. Put it in flour. Dredge it in your egg mixture. that aside go to next one same process Okay, there we go. Got all our fish done. Try to yank these off. That's what it looks like. We'll drop that in the oil next. Okay, now let's drop this fish in the oil. Lay's potato chips breading for fish. Never tried it. Hope it's not too salty. We're fixing to find out. Okay, about five minutes in. Just take these and flip them. My oven is already going. Ugh. Not wanting to stay together there. That one broke apart. Okay. 
having a, have a hard time here flipping these. This breading definitely is a lot. And it's a little different. Trying to figure out how to flip it without breaking it apart here. Well, I'm not a fan of Lay's potato chips here. Other breading gets really, really hard. This is still kind of soggy. Let's see if we can at least get one flip here properly. That fish is already done pretty much. But the breading is still kind of soft. About this time, I'm going to throw my buns in the oven. Five minutes later, we'll put it together. Okay, I think, I think it's done. Actually, the fish was done five minutes ago. But the Lay's potato chips just would not brown up, and they haven't gotten hard, as you can see. Still pretty soft. There we are, people. So far, I'm not a fan. Threw some cheese on there, some tartar sauce, tomato. Got some tater tots here. So, uh, I'm fixing to try it out. All right. I'm going to cut this in half so I can eat it better. Alright, here we go. Lay's potato chips as breading. Fact or fiction? One more bite. Nope. Myth busted. Like I said, if you're in a survival situation, all you have is a bag of Lay's potato chips. Man, that is way too salty for me. Way too salty. So, if you have a link or something, somebody else doing it and actually enjoying this, post it below, please. Because I am not a fan. Like I said, my fish was... Pretty much cooked five minutes before the breading was actually brown. But, uh. Nope. In the trash. Myth busted, y'all. Okay, y'all. Gotta have a second opinion here. So, Nick's gonna try it. He likes it? Yeah. Okay. Not too salty? It's a little bit salty, though. A little bit salty. Very salty. Okay, very salty. Ugh. Hmm. Too salty for me. Too salty for Nick, too. In the trash it goes. <coughs> Miss Busted. <coughs>